Hi, Easy Asafi team. This is Ann Sermons Gillis, and I want to invite you to have an easier day. There is an eight word miracle mantra, and it is everything can be easy or at least easier. I'm always telling about that because I think it's such a powerful thought. Things can be easy immediately when we're driving our drama on made up stuff, and it can be easier when we reach in and feel that power within us to lift our spirit or we reach out so that we can share the burden with others or they'll share it with us or walk through us in that burden. And in that light, the other day I was in a class and someone was speaking about Will from the perspective of Charles Fillmore's 12 Powers. And Will is that thing that really brings us into action. And it, at its best, if we're looking at our own personal will, in which we have many choices, then we're looking at a will that's based on uh, good, wholesome, sacred values. But there is a will of the ego that so dominates our lives that I begin to think that maybe there was another aspect of will that would be even more powerful for me, and that would just be thy will. Thy will be done in my thoughts. Thy will be done in my emotions. Thy will be done in the people that I meet. Thy will be done in my breath. Thy will be done in my body. So I began affirming that, thinking of thy will as that which is cannot be spoken of in words, that great infinite universal love that we often call God. But thy will is something that is bigger than my local mind, the mind that's conditioned by circumstances, conditioned by my upbringing, conditioned by all kinds of things. But it is a, a, we live in a state of hypnosis, but what about I turn that over to something that is bigger and broader than the conditioning? Thy will be done. And so after I said this affirmation, I went to the store. I was looking for a certain kind of paper to draw zendangles and this art form and they didn't have it. So I went, decided to drop in the next store to see if they had uh, some dryer balls, which they didn't have. But I ran into my friend there who actually knew, I remember, I said, well, you do Zentangles, don't you? And she said yes and told me where I could get them. And then she was with another friend and we had a wonderful talk and it was such a great affirmation of thy will be done in the people that I meet, thy will be done in every breath and every cell of my body. And so I hugged the two friends back to the store. I hugged the two friends and one of them was celebrating their birthday. And so I, I said, happy birthday. And I went on into the back of the store. And a minute or two later, I saw my friends and they're waving and they're telling the clerk something and they're telling her to let them through that they had bought something and paid for it and they were going to give it to me and for me not to pay for it. So they put a lay around my neck which was so cool. Uh, I had actually been thinking about uh, Hawaii and they put a lay around my neck and I'm walking down the aisles and I see another woman. I said, I normally don't wear something like this because it was <laughs> a little um, bright blue artificial flowers around my neck. And she said, oh, I think it's wonderful. And she continued to talk to me and we talked and talked and she ended up buying one of my books and I got her uh, name for my mailing list. And uh, we're going to email back and forth. And then I went home. It, it was just such a radical experience of Dharma because it was as if giving my will over to my higher power created me having the exact action that I needed to take in my life, which is Dharma is that right action, that right path. So in the moment I was in my Dharma. So I just ask you to consider the idea of meditating and contemplating on that idea of thy will. And if you don't like to think of it, if you don't like to think of a higher power, think of unconditional love. Whatever it is that your mind can believe that your mind is comfortable with, there's no dogma attached to this. It's just the idea of turning over our egoic driven mind to something that is more, has more wisdom and intelligence than our local conditioned mind. Again, I am Ann Sermons Gillis, your easy osophist, and I want you to know that I love you.